Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a, Java, a JavaScript function that calls itself. Like for example, uh, this is what we are going to be doing. Like for example, in a, a normal JavaScript function, you have to click a, a button or you have to listen for an event on the page before the function um, runs and a JavaScript function, a JavaScript function that called itself, you can make it call itself. It will automatically call itself on page loads. So let me just load the page for you to uh, see it. And it's going to run itself after two and a half seconds. So it's going to run itself after two and a half seconds. Let me load the page again. All right, so this is what we are going to be doing in this tutorial. And please, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, before we go to the full tutorial, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please support me by subscribing to my subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Let's go to the full tutorial. Okay, now normally in JavaScript, in normal JavaScript function. To run a normal JavaScript function, you have to click a button or listen to an event in um, on the web page for the JavaScript function to run. But there, are, you can also create a JavaScript function that also runs itself. And what if the JavaScript function you want to create, you want it to run itself? Now let's go straight into the code. All right, I've created a um, HTML two files here, which are just HTML and HTML and the JavaScript file. Okay, now let me just quickly link the JavaScript file. That's script JavaScript file. Okay, now we've linked the JavaScript file. Now the normal the normal um, event. Let's do the normal uh, event first of all. And normal event is a uh, normal function. Sorry, is to create a function like this. Function. Click. Click. Button. That's going to be uh, equal to. Okay. Oh, sorry. Then you can now say, okay, okay, we are going to change the text color of this. Let me just say, ID change color and this ID change text. Okay, let me just copy this. Oops. Yeah and okay i'm just going to go to the top of the page and create it like a local variable okay we can also create it inside this let's say let's change text equal to document dot query selector then we are selecting an id an element with an id change text and the second one is change color. So the same thing, let's change color equal to document dot query selector. That's going to be change color. Okay. Now after clicking the button, we want to change the text and we want to change the color. Let's change the text to dot text content. That's going to be you are awesome. Okay, say you are awesome. Don't give up. Okay, and the second one is change color. Say dot style dot color. Oh, 
star dot color equal to yellow okay now after creating the the button and we want to run uh, after creating the function i want to run it we are going to attach the function to an to an element element and on an event when an event happened happens and what kind of event uh, let's say on click on click event okay now let's say on click clicky button click button click button on click of this of this button we want to run this function click button now let's go back to the browser and just reload the page all right so if i click on if i click on the button now it's going to change it has changed the text color of this one and the text content of this if i load the page back it's going to be back and now what if you want to uh, run the function you want the function to call itself now i'm just going to copy all this from here because we are going to be using the same same thing in the function now you can create it in three different ways the the first one is to use the first one is to use the uh, the normal function normal anonymous function anonymous function the second one is yes six yes six arrow anonymous anonymous function then you can also those are the two ways and you can also use um, a promise you can also use it in a, in a promise like await you can also use it with await and async async and await now let's try the three of them now and the first one is normal anonymous function now to create a function that runs itself first thing we're going to do is open a bracket then write an anonymous we are going to create an anonymous function function all right then at the end after the second closing bracket we're going to write a closing and a and a oh, an opening and a closing bracket that's all then the function is going to is just going to run itself and everything inside the function is going to run and let's save it and let's go back to the browser and reload the page as you can see automatically it has changed it has run the function itself automatically and you can just change the color of this one to let's say blue okay let's go back and just reload the page i can see it has changed down to blue it has changed to blue okay now the next the next method that you can use the second method method that you can use is with arrow functions opening brackets then opening brackets to create the arrow function then opening and closing brackets and after the closing this the closing bracket just create the same way create an op uh, opening and closing bracket again then i'm going to be running the same the same the same thing and let me just change this to red this time around okay if you just load the page now as you can see and let me just change this to never give up never give up 
Okay. Now, what the function is going to do is going to do is it's going to run itself whenever after the page has finished loading. So it will not wait for any event to be called. So it will just automatically run itself. All right. So and the the most use, useful part of it is using it with async and await. So I'm just going to comment this out and you can use it with async and await. We're not going to be connecting with any API. Uh, I'm just going to be using promise and post the code. We are going to be posting the code also. So, and to use an async and await, I'm going to be using it with ES6 algo function. Async, async. I hope you uh, understand understand async and await. And if you don't understand async and await, there I've created if a a tutorial on async and await. And await, you can go on and watch it. And after and when you are done, come back to this point and continue. All right. So we are still going to be doing the same thing, but we are going to be waiting for a response we are going to be simulating a response a and like a promise like an ajax request we are going to be simulating it and how can we do that there's there's a new promise and i'm just going to do it in the the, the, the long method so widgets and our function and I'm going to be posting the code let's say set timeout set timeout then how many seconds do we want to wait let's wait for two and a half seconds then after the two and a half seconds just resolve so then what the code is is going to do is it's going to wait for it's going to make the code wait for two and a half seconds before going on and run this uh code yeah this statement down here so it's going to resolve after two and a half seconds so that that's what it's going to do i can go on to the let's go on to the browser and just do the page and okay i think it's it was very very fast okay oh i forgot something i forgot to await now we, we need to await it we need to await the promise we need to await the promise and let me just change this to uh, let's set it to green and let's set this one to uh, okay and let's save and let's go back to the browser and now let's load the page so it's going to wait for two and a half seconds and yeah it has done it let's try it again okay let's try to change the color let's just change the color to purple and let's go back to the browser i just load the page after two and a half seconds you can see yeah so this is a, a javascript function that runs itself so you can create it in different ways and you can use it in different different ways and this is the most useful part of it if you want to if you just want to um, group run a block of code or run some statements and and you want them to be in a um, in a function and you want the function to automatically call itself when the page loads or maybe you are using a, a framework whenever the 
the like for example in, Re in react whenever the component mounts so you want the uh, the code to the set of code to automatically run itself so that that uh, that is the usefulness of uh, functions that a self-calling function and in this case also if, if you wanted to maybe you want to make an agile request call for, uh, from the server and you have to wait and uh, the the content down here relies on the results that's coming from the server so you can use it in, in this case okay so this is uh, a self-calling javascript function all right don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you like this video uh, tutorial just give it a thumb up and if you don't like it give it a thumb down and tell me the reason why you don't like it see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching my video